A Fairfield landmark destroyed from a steakhouse in the 80s to a Peruvian restaurant today. This building will be torn down after this fire ripped through it today. Do you see flames? Yeah, come out the top. Next to Bunker Bay Pub. Yep, across from the PNC Bank, I see fire. A plow truck driver stopped his work to report the fire this morning. And Night on Your Side's Butler and Warren County reporter Jay Warren is live in Fairfield now with the story. Jay? Well, the Fairfield Fire Department believes that the fire here at Sabor Peruano was an accident and that it happened in an area above the kitchen. But what they're going to do is they're going to bring in some ladder equipment and hover it above this burnt out building, take high resolution photographs inside, and try to come up with a cause for this $400,000 fire. As fires go, this one turned out to be big. Uh, there's a structure fire at the corner of Dixie Highway and Mack Road. Yeah, you'll see it. You can't miss it. It's on flames. There's flames coming from the roof right now. Fairfield firefighters and other agencies not only had to suppress the flames, but also deal with single-digit temperatures last night. Fortunately, no one was hurt as a result of the fire. Fast forward to this afternoon, and you can see what kind of damage it caused. Chief Don Bennett of the Fairfield Fire Department explained how they're going to look at the area above the kitchen. The area we're going to take a look at, we're going to get some aerial devices in here so we can get up above it, take some pictures. Um, what we try to do is photograph the area, come back and enlarge it, yeah. and then take a look at char patterns and things of that nature. As far as last night, the extremely cold temperatures made fighting the fire that much more difficult. When we're working a fire in single digits, um, the water, um, creates a problem when we're doing in suppression. Everybody's busy, everybody's working. Um, during overhaul situations, the wet gear begins to freeze up. While investigators are still looking for answers, they do believe that criminal behavior won't be one of them. Even talking to both the business owner and the property owner, um, we didn't really believe initially that it was a fire of suspicious nature. Um, and should this area play out, that will certainly substantiate our beliefs in the matter. And the fire chief says, without a doubt, this landmark restaurant building will have to be taken down. Jay Warren, 9 on your side, Fairfield.